If you are studying a subject like quantum mechanics, it's always best to read through a good book so that you can understand the subject in a systematic manner with the right perspective. A good book is like a guide who can hold your hand and take you in a wonderful journey step by step through an unknown terrain. So if you want to be familiar with an unknown terrain, it's always best to speak to somebody who knows that terrain and can communicate to you the information in a smooth, organized manner. Now, the market is kind of saturated with a large number of books, especially in quantum mechanics. There are a large number of authors who have published a large number of books. But if you are a beginner, then you can get easily overwhelmed by all the information that is out there and therefore get distracted by so many books and so much information that you end up losing interest in a subject. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to recommend a very small list of books on this particular subject based on whether you are a complete beginner or you are an intermediate student who have some understanding about origins of quantum mechanics let's suppose or you are an advanced student. Now my list of books mainly depends upon my own experience of reading through these books over the years and it is not the end all be all. So there are many many excellent books out there so if I'm not able to mention one of the books that you are going through it's perfectly fine. At the end of the day it is more important that you read through one good book instead of getting distracted by multiple books out there. So based on my own experience the very first recommendation is a book called Concepts of Modern Physics by Arthur Beiser. Now please ignore the state of this book. Some of these books I have had for decades. So the pages may be yellow and a little bit torn. It happens with time, you know. Now this is a book that is not really a book on quantum mechanics per se, but it contains multiple branches. But this is an excellent book, especially for beginner students. Students who have completely no idea what quantum mechanics is. So for somebody who is an absolute beginner, Let's suppose somebody who is right out of high school and they are not really familiar with anything about quantum mechanics. They don't know what photoelectric effect is. They don't know what wave particle duality is. For those kinds of students or for students who are non-physics students, let's suppose a student in college who is not really studying physics, but studying maybe chemistry or mathematics or computer science. And they have in their first year or first semester a paper on physics, which might contain a couple of topics from the introduction of quantum mechanics. For those students, this book is an excellent choice because it contains the introductory part of quantum mechanics in a very beautiful manner. If you look at the content of the book, it contains a broad range of topics in modern physics, including special relativity, quantum mechanics, atomic physics, solid state physics, nuclear physics, and particle physics. And because it contains so many branches in physics, it shows you how everything is interconnected and therefore a very good introduction to modern physics in general. Now, I like this book because the writing style is very, very simple, crisp, clear, and the mathematics is very minimal. It is a good reference for those students who do not really want to dive deep into the theory of quantum mechanics, but simply wants to be introduced to the introductory ideas of quantum mechanics like wave particle duality, atomic structure, Schrodinger's equation, hydrogen atom, etc. What I love about this book is that it contains small biographies about scientists in the middle of each chapter that makes reading the topic so much more interesting. The best quality about this book is, however, the organization of the topics. It contains the relevant theory, the formula, the diagrams, the tables, etc. in a very smooth and sufficient manner. The concepts are not too text heavy. The mathematics is not too detailed but it is more or less sufficient for introductory introduction to the subject for absolute beginners or non-physics students. This is a good reference to have. Now, if you want to dive deep into the theory of quantum mechanics, then the next book is Introduction to Quantum Mechanics by David Griffiths. This I would say is a gold standard in quantum mechanics and it is a must have, especially for those students who really want to study the subject properly. Keep in mind that this is not for absolute beginners at all, as it doesn't contain anything about the origins of quantum mechanics and jumps straight into the quantum mechanical theory. In fact, the very first chapter, the very first paragraph introduces to you the Schrodinger's equation without wasting any time. What I love about this book is that reading this book feels like reading a novel where the author is speaking to you. It is not just a collection of text and mathematical formula. The author is actually engaging in a conversation which feels very much enjoyable. Another thing is that the author doesn't really shy away from discussing some deeply philosophical questions about the nature of the subject. In fact, in the very first chapter itself, when discussing the concepts of the wave function, it gives us the various schools of thought that exists within the scientific community regarding the various interpretations of what it means to make a measurement. Many college level books do not do this. 
You see, when studying a subject like quantum mechanics, it's not just enough to know the theory and the mathematical formula. You also have questions regarding its broader physical implications. This book really goes into those questions sometimes in the middle of reading, which makes it a very enjoyable thing to do so, especially for me because I don't really find that kind of a conversation happening in many other books. Now, this is a very concise yet a very comprehensive book and it is suitable for both college level students and university students as it contains not only the basics of quantum mechanics like Schrodinger's equation, probabilistic interpretation, hydrogen atom, etc., but goes into advanced topics like perturbation theory, scattering, etc. Now, if you have read this book and you want to do a little bit of a more in-depth study of the subject, the third recommendation I have is Quantum Mechanics Concepts and Applications by Zetli. This is a very, very good book for intermediate to advanced students who are probably already familiar with quantum mechanical theory, Schrodinger's equation, etc. It is a very comprehensive book and covers almost all the fundamentals of quantum mechanics and its applications. It's very well written and very detailed. Now, unlike Griffiths, the first chapter of this book is devoted to origins of quantum mechanics, but from the second chapter, it goes straight into the mathematical methods and matrix formulation of quantum mechanics. Compared to Griffiths, this is more detailed and quite heavy in mathematics. Where this book shines is it provides a large number of problem solving. Now, many times when studying a subject like quantum mechanics, we get too involved in the theory, but forget to do sufficient amount of problem solving. And if you are a college or a university student and you appear in a paper on quantum mechanics, they are not really going to ask you the definition or the mathematical formula of something, right? They are going to give you a system and then they are going to ask you to solve it. For example, for a certain potential, what is the nature of its probability distribution? What is the expectation value for a given system? Find out the energy eigenvalues, etc. So therefore, apart from understanding the theory of quantum mechanics, you should also be able to solve problems or systems in the kind of questions uh, that usually come in college and university examinations. And for that, you need to spend time in problem solving. This book uh, gives you a large number of solved problems as well as unsolved problems that you can go through to develop that kind of aptitude. So if you look at the end of chapter number two, which basically introduces the bracket notation as well as the matrix formulation of operators, it contains a large number of solved problems that you can go through, that you can practice, which will help you develop that skill of solving different kinds of problems, especially in the subject of quantum mechanics. Now, if you make a comparison between both these two books, Griffiths and Zetli, both these two books have slightly different flavors. Now, while Griffiths puts more emphasis on developing the physical intuition about the subject of quantum mechanics, Zetli, on the other hand, uh, spends more time in the mathematical formulation of quantum mechanics. Griffiths chooses a more traditional approach to teaching the subject like developing the understanding of the initial concepts like uh, probabilistic interpretation, Schrodinger's equation, wave function, etc, etc. Uh, Zetli takes a more modern approach. It jumps straight into the matrix formulation of quantum mechanics and just spends a lot of time uh, looking at the subject from the mathematical perspective. So this book is very heavy in mathematics. And if you want to go for this book, you should be good, especially with differential equations and uh, linear algebra. Now, I don't really want to recommend too many books to you. There are some other excellent books out there in the market. If you are a college level student, for an absolute beginner, the concepts of modern physics by Arthur Beiser is more than sufficient enough just as a reference and a guide for absolute beginners. For somebody who wants to study the theory of quantum mechanics, Griffiths is a must have. And somebody who wants a little bit more detailed study in terms of the mathematical formulation of the subject, Zetli is a very good choice. I think for 90% of my students, these books are going to be more than sufficient. But I'm going to give you some more additional uh, recommendations, not as a main book, but as an additional reference. Let's suppose you have these books and you want some additional reference to look at, then the books that I'm going to talk about now, you can use as an additional reference. So in that context, I have this next book, which is Quantum Physics by Robert Eisberg and Robert Resnick. This book is written in the style of Beiser in the sense that it contains multiple branches of physics like quantum mechanics, solid state physics, semiconductors, nuclear physics, elementary particles, etc. 
But unlike Pizer, it's a very detailed book. It's a very text heavy book and it requires a lot of reading to go through, but it is also good in the sense that it contains very less mathematics. So for those students who really get scared of mathematics, students who want to do a deep dive into quantum mechanics, but really are not comfortable with too much mathematics, for them, I think this book would be helpful. But keep in mind that this is very text heavy and requires a lot of reading uh, through a lot of material for you to grasp the subject. Another two books that I have, especially for origins of quantum mechanics, Six Ideas That Shape Physics Particles Behave Like Waves, Thomas More. This is a book for absolute beginners, which gives you an idea about wave particle duality, wave function, atomic uh, structure, nuclear physics, radioactivity, etc. Now this book is written in a very different style. So let's suppose that you uh, go to a restaurant, all right, on a regular basis, but one day you want to taste something different. You're interested in a different flavor. So if you're interested in a different flavor of reading the introductory topics of this particular subject, then you might give this book a shot because the presentation of this particular book is very different from other books. Maybe you will like it, maybe you won't like it, but if you're interested in a different flavor, you can give this book a shot. Another book, which is a book by an Indian author, H.C. Verma, you can go through. It's a very good book for both intermediate as well as advanced students. It has its own style, contains uh, quite a bit of theory and mathematical examples. If you want an additional reference, this might be one of them. Another book whose hard copy I do not have, a very popular book is Principles of Quantum Mechanics by R. Shankar. It's a very widely known textbook, especially for intermediate as well as advanced students and quite popular for its clear and concise explanations. Again, this is for intermediate and advanced students. Now talking about advanced students, sometimes it may happen that you have gone through many of these books and maybe you are looking forward to doing a dissertation or research in your future and you want additional references. You see, sometimes it may happen that you want multiple books that you can refer to when studying a particular topic. In that context, I'm going to refer to two more authors. The first is Quantum Mechanics Volume 1 and 2 by Kohen Tanoji for advanced students who want additional reference and additional textbook a good reference on various advanced topics, this is one of them. The next is Advanced Quantum Mechanics by J.J. Sakurai. Now, for the intermediate and the beginner students, don't even go there. <laughs> you will waste time, you will not understand them much. It is only for students who are already familiar with everything that I've just now mentioned and want some additional uh, touch, additional reading, only for them they can go for these books. Before I end the video, it is important to know that you should not waste too much time in multiple books getting distracted by different writing styles, different approaches and so much amount of content out there. It's always best if you have just one good textbook and you read it thoroughly. So if you are in the middle of reading a textbook right now and I have not yet mentioned that book uh, in this particular video. It's perfectly fine. This is just a recommendation based on my own experience. And this is only for those students who are looking to get into reading a particular textbook. Only in that situation, you can choose any one of these books. Anyways, quantum mechanics is a very fascinating subject. So therefore, uh, different authors have written different books in their own style, in their own uh, approach in their own manner. <laughs> and uh, you will get a different flavor when you read a different author. But no matter the flavor, the content of the subject is still the same everywhere. So that is all for today. These are book recommendations on quantum mechanics. In the next video, I'm going to start with wave particle duality. And that is all for today. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.